you know, you need to have this home or this car, or this, you know, all the stuff people get caught in, which is at the end of the day kind of meaningless in the end. But I know for some people, they it's a priority. It, it, but it's really checking your ultimate priority, like what is most important to you and what, what, what are you willing to sacrifice for in the end? And then I think if that's, at least for me, if that's your mindset, you you will make the sacrifice needed for your family or for your kids if that's what you choose to have. And you will make it work like you just do. It just you do what you have to do. Um, yeah. So it's a lot of intentionality. And even with relationships with your partner, it's are, oh, you, yeah. are you intentional? And I do couples therapies as well. So it's kind of a, you know, are you intentional or are you stuck in autopilot? Right. Um, mm-hmm because people get stuck in autopilot because life gets busy. And if you let it, I mean, life, especially here will continually endlessly throw stuff at you. You know, you know, you need to carry about, you need to care about this or you need to be involved in this or you need to be doing this or, you know, it gets, it's endless. Like life is in companies and work or they're always willing to give you more. Right. <laughs> hey, oh yeah. You know, so, <laughs> you know, cause for them it's a business. So it's kind of, I think, what I often teach people in my practice and even have to have to practice myself is, you know, what are your priorities? You know, what do you ultimately want? So set your priorities because they'll keep asking life, people, the world, your job. Mm-hmm. They'll, 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 there's an endless empty, you know, a bottomless pit of what they'll require of you. You know, they'll, they'll give as much as you give them. And so, it really is setting some boundaries, some healthy boundaries saying, okay, I'm going to say no here. And that's okay to say no to these things and saying, I'm going to say no to these things because, you know, I need time for my kids or for my partner, or I need to invest and I need to be intentional with my relationships, whether it's a friendship, a partner, your, your spouse, your kids, that it does require that kind of intentionality. Otherwise it, you know, your time goes elsewhere. And it's mm-hmm. pretty, it gets sucked up quickly. You know, there's only so much time in a day, the literally, and not to be cliche, but there really is. You only have so much time. And how do you, how do you want to choose to spend it? You know? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I was having lunch with a friend recently and she was like, oh, you do all these amazing things. And I was like, no, I just live my purpose. You know, <laughs> this is just, what I want to do with my life, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, I think life should be fun and fulfilling and full of really meaningful relationships and work. So Mm -hmm. that's what I do, you know? Um, And I feel like when young people are setting up their adult lives, it's really often helpful to create a mission statement for yourself. Yeah. So that you can make choices through that filter, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's a great, great advice, great wisdom. I love that mission statement for your life. So that's, you make choices based upon that filter. Because the reality is you're making choices based upon a filter, whether you're aware of that filter or mm-hmm. not, right? That's the difference. Are you aware of the filter to which you choose to make decisions out of? Yeah, And I mean, if you're happy with the mainstream values, then yeah, just, you know, go for it. Right. (laughs) Like, yeah, get as many toys as you can. Right. (laughs) Essentially. Right. If that's, if that's Uh, your thing, fine. That's great. Buy the biggest cows, whatever, but do that, you know, Mm -hmm. like, because you know, that's, what's really important to you. Right. Exactly. No, exactly. It's no, it's really knowing your, what you value most and what you prioritize and then living out of that reality. Cause some people for them, that is, I'm like, that's great. If that's, if that's what you're aiming at. Awesome. I'm not here to tell you otherwise. Just yeah. know that that's just be aware of what you're doing. You know, and just have that awareness, live, live intentionally, live mindfully, not right. Not mindlessly. Mm-hmm. 